Hi Royals! I owe you a video, so I decided to do it with amazing bedhead, but it's actually a real video, not a update. But um, so I mentioned that I'm doing this WordPress class. Um, I'm actually gonna share the site after I get my own hosting and stuff. But um, so I'm doing this class. And the topic I chose, I said, was stuff I want to make videos about. Well, I haven't had time to make the videos, so... But actually, it's okay. This one is a story. And I'm going to tell you the story, and it's related to all the copyright stuff that I promised I would start talking about more. Um, because if you don't learn from history, you're doomed to repeat it. And the thing is about the film industry is they repeat themselves... A lot. So um, I call this one The Wizard of Menlo Park versus The Rebel Badass. It's also known as Hollywood Begins. So once upon a time there was this wizard named Tom and he lived in Menlo Park, New Jersey. Um, Tom is credited to inventing many things but Sometimes that's just because he patented it first. Tom was really good at getting patents. Tom was also really good at buying patents. One of these inventions was the motion picture camera, which he did patent. And he just bought up related patents um, by the early 1900s. And he formed, I forget what the actual full name is called, but we'll, we're going to call it the Edison Trust. He formed the Edison Trust, which got together some major filmmakers, um, studio system, as it were, and they collectively owned 16 major motion picture patents. So what did this mean? It meant basically they could make all the rules. Um, they decided that they didn't want a lot of foreign films in America. They decided that American films had to be 20 minutes or shorter because Americans didn't have long attention spans. Um, they decided that filmmakers had to pay a license and use the equipment that was owned by Edison Trust. Same went for theater owners. And um, the theater owners also had to pay $2 a week for the privilege to buy and screen um, Edison Trust made films. Well, there was one successful Nickelodeon owner in Chicago who was like, this is malarkey. That guy is known as Carl Lomley, who was a rebel badass. He's such a badass, he's actually credited to saving 200 to 300 Jewish people's lives while Hitler was on the rise in Germany. This is, this is true. Um, so this rebel badass was like, no, I, why am I going to pay $2 to screen a movie? Why am I going to have the quality of movies I show be limited? No, none of this makes sense. So he actually formed independent moving pictures which were independents who used non-patented equipment, made their own movies, and screened them. And, you know, Edison was like, cool, I like this competition. I'm kidding. No, he didn't. He had thugs go find the pirate equipment and break it. And they emptied out theaters and they took the pirate movies. Well, eventually, Carl Lomley just moved to Hollywood. He opened the first studio in Hollywood um, on April 30th, 1912. You might have heard of it. It's a little place called Universal Studios. And um, eventually, in 1915, he and William Fox, who eventually had his own movie studio you may have heard of, 20th Century Fox, decided to sue Edison because clearly he had a monopoly. And the Supreme Court agreed that Edison was violating antitrust laws and the Edison Trust was broken up. 
yay for the little guy. And in this instance, Edison was actually not such a spoil sport because he did dedicate um, the state-of-the-art sound system that Universal had, 1915, same year that he was sued. But of course, can you really win against a wizard? I like to think he placed a curse that day that everyone who opposed him would become what he was. But I mean, that's just me taking liberties with history, with what I know happens next. But yeah, that's how Hollywood started. They were the rebel, badass, independent filmmakers who didn't like unfair copyright rules and were fighting against them. Hmm, that's food for thought, isn't it? So that's it for this. I do have other topics I'm going to talk about. I'm trying to make real videos for those. Um, we'll see if I have time. I have other videos that I actually do owe you. I'll try to get to those, but I, I I didn't want another day to go by where I'm just giving you an update instead of an actual video. So, okay, that's it. Bye, Royals.